white bread people were eating, the greater the death rate for babies, and it was grown like this in the same proportion as the white bread. This is Paul. He's 97 years old and has a long list of life accomplishments, including a very successful career as a renowned dietitian. His secret to longevity and good health at the age of 97? God has eight natural remedies that most Adventists follow, and that's the greatest contributor to the longevity. The word new start. Paul seems to be the most youthful elderly man alive. He possesses the vigor and strength of a young adult. Before we delve into his secrets, you should know that Paul lives in Loma Linda, popularly known as the Blue Zone area, and is a member of the Seventh-day Adventists, a group of people who are said to live 10 years above the average lifespan of 60. What was found out was that the average Adventists lived 10 years longer. At Loma Linda University, there has been something called the Adventist Health Study. And what was found is that the average Seventh-day Adventist lived about 10 years longer than the average Californian. So there was something in that Adventist lifestyle that made a difference. That original study is what Dan Butner used to create the idea of a blue zone within Loma Linda, which is one of the highest concentrations of Seventh-day Adventists. These people are said to have adopted a unique lifestyle that has greatly contributed to a healthy life. This video focuses on Paul, a product of this society. If you want to see where old people exercise like young adults, in the video, I have carefully curated all the secrets to Paul's healthy lifestyle. You will get to know the full meaning of new start and also key lessons that Paul considers to be very crucial to every human. Number one. Number two, and number three. You will get to know the secret things the Seventh-day Adventists know, but the rest of the world is missing. Let's begin. What Paul avoids to stay young. The first thing you will never catch Paul taking is coffee. Although some research shows that coffee keeps you alert, Paul differs from this as he says that Caffeine is the number one drug used in America today. Interestingly, his claims are backed by evidence. Research shows that coffee keeps you up at night, depriving you of the benefits of sleeping. Not getting enough sleep is associated with an increased risk of both cognitive decline and dementia, heart disease, and diabetes. Too much caffeine can affect the psychology of a person. It can cause anxiety, which is really bad for productivity. Isn't it ironic that the one thing that should make you productive can slow down your productivity when you consume it too much? Secondly, Paul does not skip breakfast. Doctors have agreed that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Recent research shows that compared with people who don't have breakfast, those who regularly eat breakfast tend to have a lower risk of both obesity and type 2 diabetes. There's also some evidence that people who don't have breakfast may be at a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. But what exactly does Paul eat for breakfast? And this is the way I eat every morning. I start with a third of a cup of nuts and then fruits and a bowl of nine grain cereal whole grain, a couple of tablespoons of wheat your morning, and that's my typical breakfast. You will notice that Paul's meal does not contain any form of animal protein. This is because he's a vegetarian. Being a vegetarian means he steers clear of animal produce. According to him, 100% vegetarian, 76 years. Finally, and very important, Paul doesn't eat white bread. Studies have shown that whole wheat bread is made from all components of the grain, the bran, germ, and endosperm, whereas white bread is made from refined flour and only retains the endosperm. This implies that the wheat has been stripped of all fibers, which is bad for your gut health and promotes the growth of bad bacteria in your gut. In 2021, researchers at the University of Oxford revealed that white bread is a lethal cause of heart disease. A five-year study of 116,806 Britons published in the journal BMC Medicine ranked white bread alongside soft drinks and table sugar as the worst culprits, raising the risk of heart disease and premature death by as much as 40%. This is your cue to toss that white bread away and embrace whole grain bread. Paul's Longevity Secret New Start As promised, here's what New Start, the secret of the longevity of Paul, stands for. God has eight natural remedies that most Adventists follow, and that's the greatest contributor to the longevity. The word New Start the letter N stands for nutrition. Good nutrition means your body gets all the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals it needs to work its best. For optimal health, 
An article by Harvard Medical School suggests following plant-based diets, like Mediterranean diet. What you eat forms the best part of your cognitive process. This means that beyond the physical body, nutrition affects every aspect of our lives. Many chronic diseases, such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease, are caused by poor nutrition. Most of the food we pay less attention to has nutritional benefits that aid longevity. Foods that contain calcium, potassium, fiber, magnesium, and vitamins A, C, and D are often neglected. And these have been scientifically proven to be highly nutritious. Check your food today. Do you have all the nutrients available? The next letter is E, which stands for exercise. According to Nathan Levrasseux, an aging researcher and professor of physical medicine, exercise is the best defense and repair strategy that we have to counter different drivers of aging. If you can't exercise daily now, don't expect your body to be active when you are 80. An interesting fact, exercise can curb the appearance of 40 chronic diseases. One of the leading causes of cognitive decline in people has been traced to lack of exercise. As you grow older, you begin to lose some body mass and strength. You notice that you begin to lose the vigor you once had. This decline in strength is a condition known as sarcopenia. To slow down sarcopenia, medical professionals have identified exercise as the perfect antidote. Exercise builds the grit and resistance you need to push that hard door. Now, don't get it twisted. You don't have to run on the treadmill before you see the impact of exercise. Just some simple brisk walk down the stairs or some brisk walking. You can also take walks in a park. The most important thing is that you add exercise to your routine. If you are following, you will realize that all the tips I have shared so far are not expensive. As I delve into the next acronyms, don't forget to click the subscribe button. The letter W. If you guessed water, then you're absolutely right. The unique remedy will not be complete without an emphasis on the importance of water. Water is one of the most essential nutrients for the body. It has been scientifically proven that you can survive a month without food, but you can barely survive two weeks without water. The body needs to be hydrated at all times, and this is in order to function well. Matter of fact, 75% of your brain consists of water, and this helps you with your mental tasks. When you are dehydrated, there is a signal that is sent to your brain, and you are unable to function very well. Apart from this, many life-threatening diseases like kidney and liver problems have been traced to people not taking enough water. Some people have substituted water for carbonated drinks and coffee with the claim that these drinks have water. Newsflash, your body needs between 1.8 to 3 liters of water per day. If you're lacking in this area, it's time to get a glass of water. Now to the S, which is sunshine. The sun itself is a great source of vitamin D which is responsible for absorbing calcium, one of the main building blocks for strong bones. You need to know that very few of the foods we take contain vitamin D. Vitamin D protects you from developing osteoporosis, a disease that weakens the bones and makes them more likely to break. It is advisable to stay in the sun for 5 to 30 minutes a day. However, the sunshine recommended is that which comes out in the early hours of the day. Avoid the scorching sun. The first T stands for temperance. Xenophon, an ancient Greek philosopher, says that temperance is the moderate use of everything healthy and the total abstinence of anything harmful. According to Forbes, only 8% of people achieve their New Year's resolution. The reason they don't achieve it is because they lack temperance. Whether it is what you eat or how you spend your money, you need to be temperate to be successful in all ways. Are you still waiting for me to mention a supplement in some bottles? Oh no, I already promised that these tips wouldn't cost you money. The next remedy is air. Air in its natural form. Natural air is being taken for granted. Did you know that 20% of the air you breathe is used by your brain to function well? Imagine staying in an enclosed area for too long. That means little or no air to think. Fresh air not only cleans your lungs, it can also boost your mood, lower your heart rate, increase energy levels, and even improve digestion. Beyond this, air helps in the production of serotonin, which promotes a sense of happiness and well-being. So you have stayed indoors for too long. Pick a mat and go inhale some fresh air outside. Rest is the penultimate remedy. When you talk about rest, the first thing that comes to mind is sleep. But rest is beyond sleep. It could be just laying down on your couch and reading your favorite romantic story. 
Your body needs some rest to fight off diseases. One of the prominent causes of cardiovascular diseases is lack of rest. When you refuse to rest, you have a higher risk of gaining weight, having diabetes, having a heart attack, and having your skin suffer. The big question is, when was the last time you rested? And last on the list of remedies is the trust in divine. Paul and his associates in Loma Linda believe in a divine authority who guides them through life. Finally, Paul's pieces of advice. Those are golden. For one, stay close to Jesus. Number two, pick out a job, skill, or profession that you like, that you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. And number three, don't marry the person you think you can live with. Marry the one that you can't live without. Now that you have the secret to longevity, share this video and let's increase the lifespan of every human. Don't also forget to subscribe to this channel for more healthy tips. The goal is to see you thriving instead of striving. See you in my next video. Thank you.